Are you recording this? Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channels. And um, so, one of the questions people ask me, you know, uh, you know, how long I've been doing option trading, and what do I learn so far? And I'm going to try to do this. And sometimes the best way to learn is actually to give a class. I'm going to give a class on option trading a little bit here, and so this way you kind of understand. And Claude is here with me, and he's like my mentor right now, and and he can double check my uh, my uh, my teaching method here. All right, so. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, how long I've been doing this to answer that question is I literally about three weeks, uh, and I only did two, uh, two or three, sh uh, trades so far. So it's not a lot. I don't have a lot of experience and I'm just learning how to do this in my, in my opinion, when you first start off, there's a lot of things to do. Option trading There's a lot of choices. There's, there's just multiple choices out there. And so it's like when people want to learn how to gamble, I always tell them, if you want to learn how to gamble, let me teach you how to play blackjack. That's usually the easiest game, card game. And let me teach you how to do the slot machine. That's a very easy game. And let me teach you how to play roulette. What you don't want to teach somebody is take them to a crap table, crap table and start rolling the dice. That's way too complicated. And uh, you try you start playing some of these Chinese games, you get way too complicated. So you, you don't want to start in advanced levels. You want to start off simple. In my mind, the simplest thing in option trading is two. Sell cover call and sell put. All right, those are the two simplest things. So what we're talking about here is sell cover call. You know, what that mean is sell cover and call is that mean in order to sell it, I have to have share already. I own the share already. All right. So in this case, I own 200 share so far. I'm going to use that example. If I don't have 100 share, I can't do cover call. So the cover call strategy, you need 100 share even just to do it. All right. Um, so, uh, so that's it. Um, now, if you don't have any share and you still want to do a cover call, then you have to go buy the share to do it. So, in other words, let's say Rivian here, I only have 40 share. I buy 60 share today. Now I have 100 share. After I own the 100 share, then I can do cover call on it. I mean, that's a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know, like, you know, aggressive. But I'm talking about I have it already. And as you can see here, I built my position. I have seven share of Tesla. I'm slowly growing that. And eventually, in about a couple of years, I'm going to get 200 shares, uh, 100 share of Tesla also. Uh, I'm starting my position with AI. I'm going to build that to 100 share. I'm starting my position with Kenview. Uh, and then I'm starting my position with Neo, with Palantir, with Rivian. So I want to get 100 shares, all that. And then I'll do cover call on those things. Okay. So the one of the question is... Um, can you make money on these things? You know, what's the difference between, let's start off different between stocks, yeah. So the the money, how you make money is different from stocks, okay? So if you do cover call on Tesla, it has a different value. You do cover call on SoFi, it's a different value. So with that in mind, let me just show you what I'm talking about, okay? So uh, I go, I'm gonna go into, uh, I'm gonna click here. Um, I'm gonna go to option trade, uh, option chain, on SoFi, all right. So on option SoFi, and you, if you do it exactly on the money, so right now the current price is eight fifty three. Uh, so it's a little bit off the money, a little bit three cents off. But anyway, at eight fifty, you get twenty four cents. At the next one, nine dollar, you get eight cents. All right. So think about it. eight cents per share. It's a one hundred. So eight times one hundred, it's essentially eight dollars. So eight dollars. Okay. So now let's look. Let's look at Tesla. All right. Tesla, uh, a little bit off the money uh, here in this case, two dollar. The current price is two thirty eight, but if you get it for two forty two, the next line, you get three dollar and forty cents. So essentially three hundred and forty dollars. You see the big difference between it. The, the, also, the big difference is one is an eight dollar stock, the other one is two hundred thirty eight dollar stocks. Okay, so it's huge different. But let's look at Nvidia. All right. Nvidia is a five hundred dollar stock, so five hundred twenty-two. So a little bit out of the money here, five twenty-five. I mean, you know, the current price is five twenty-three. The next option trade is five twenty-five. It's six dollars and seventy-five cents. That's six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Okay. So you can see, so stock matters, and some stocks are a lot more pricier than other. Who come up with this price? I don't know. I'm not that adventured, but I just know that the price is different. So each stocks are not the same value. All right. So. That, to recognize that, okay. So let's go back to SoFi again. And so we're doing option trading on, uh, I'm sorry, cover call on SoFi, okay. So that's the first thing. 
the, the stock matter. You're picking the, the stock that you want to do it on. The second part is, is how you make money is, is the value of the, uh, the trade in term of the price closest to the price. Okay. So current price is 842. If the closer you are to the current price, the more value. You see it, $9, eight, it's, it's eight cents. Further out is two cents. And further out even do, do, uh, out than that is one cents. And it eventually becomes zero. You have no value. You know, so if you do, you can do cover call at 1050, but you get zero dollar. Matter of fact, you lose money because you have to pay commission out of that. You have to pay commission, so you lose money. All right. So yeah. So essentially, <laughs> you have no value. All right. So there's value within the pricing itself. So you have to set the price, and then there's value over time. All right. So imagine cover call going to an auction house. This is the best for, best way for me to describe it. If you go to the auction house, let's say you're a pig farm and you have your pig and you put it out there. Well, if you put the price currently at bidding on that day, so they they do uh, the market, uh, the, the auction house only open on Friday and they close at 4 p.m. That's it. So you have to, you, you do that. All decisions are made on Friday at 4 p.m. So this is one of those, I don't know if you've ever been to an art gallery where you write down the price, okay? This is one of those auction houses, like an art gallery. You walk in, you see, you, you walk in on Monday. This 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 auction house is open all the way until Friday. And you walk in, you look at the painting, and like, man, I love that painting. I want to put that in my living room. Now, this is very popular in Miami. I don't know about anywhere else. This is so popular. This is where all the rich people hang out. They go in this art gallery in Wynwood, and they're like, man, I like that painting. And so you write on the sheet, okay? You write your number, your 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 auction number. And then you write down, uh, and you write down, uh, you want it for fifteen. Let's say the opening price of that painting is a hundred dollar. So you put a hundred and five dollars. That's all I want to pay. I want to pay five dollars more than that. You know, when I do it, I usually just do five dollars. That's it. I'm not paying any more than five dollar. Well, that's Monday morning. That's Monday morning. You see, by Monday lunchtime, you come back. There's like twenty people signed up on that sheet, and guess what? That price is not even five dollars anymore. Now it's going like two hundred. $10, you know, it's crazy. But in an auction house and a painting, the price never go back down. It will never go back down. It's always going to keep going up, all right? So, and by the time Friday come along, you look at that same painting, the same signature you put for $105, now become $10,000 on that painting. Like, oh, what the heck? How is this thing is $10,000? And that's, that's just crazy. But that's how auction house work in some of these places, okay? So, uh, buying, doing cover call on the market is, is very similar to that. So I walk in there, I'm going to say, okay, current price right now, 842. And I want to, I want to, I don't think this thing is worth more than $9, you know, by Friday. So I'm going to say, okay, and in return, they're going to give me $8. They're going to give me $8 in return. They're like, here's $8 for your, for, for you to put your pick in the auction. All right. Uh, like they, you give me $8 for for putting your bid on the auction, all right? So what happened is a couple of things happen. Okay, so I take and put my picks, in this case, SoFi, uh, pick and, uh, uh, you know, pick and, and lipsticks uh, on auction house for $8, all right? So I'm gonna say that my picks, uh, it's not gonna go worth more than eight and nine dollars, all right? It's not, it's just gonna somewhere around $8, all right? So, but it can't close. And I have to wait until Friday. So at Friday at at 4 p.m., if my if the price never go up to nine dollar, not only I get the pick back from the auction house, I'm I'm, I'm going to get the pick back. And they say, hey, thanks, hey, thank you, Mr. Khmer. Thanks you for showing up. And here's your pick, and and then here's your eight dollars. All right, that so I made eight dollar out of that. That's a pretty good deal. Very good deal. All right. Now, however, if this price goes to nine dollars. Somewhere between now and Friday, that person has the option to exercise to take the picture. So the buyer is sitting there going like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to buy that contract, you know, from Mr. Khmer. And uh, I think that pick is going to be, uh, that pick he has is worth more than $9. Okay, so, hey, because it's a good pick and he doesn't see it. He can't see this ugly pick. I think it's a beautiful pick. So and then he, he bought it. He bought my contract for, for $9 and he's going to sit there and watch. So on Tuesday it's going up to 860. On Wednesday it's going up to 880, 
And on Thursday, it go up to $9. Guess what? It hit the strike price at Thursday. Now he has a choice on that day. He can go like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exercise. I'm going to take his pick. So he has a choice. He can do that right away. Or he's going to sit in there and let it rise and watch it some more. Now on Thursday, this thing is going up. Like everybody wants pigs. All of a sudden, there's a pig farm disease somewhere out there and pigs are dying everywhere. So now the pigs went from $9 to like, to like $15, you know, all in one day. Guess what? That guy owned that contract for nine dollars. Now it's fifteen dollars, right? And and on Friday at three o'clock, you know, because remember it closed at four o'clock. If, if he doesn't make any decision by four o'clock, that pick is coming back to me plus plus eight dollars. But on Friday at three p.m., this thing is valued at fifteen dollars now. He can say, you know what? I'm gonna take this pick. It's a fifteen dollar pick, and I'm gonna make Mr. Khmer. Pay me eight dollars for it. I sent you. Uh, I'm sorry, nine dollars because that's the strike price. So essentially, I have to give that pick to him for nine dollars. That's it. Now, now he owned the pick for nine dollars. Guess what he made? He made all that money. He made all the way. He made from nine dollars all the way up to fifteen dollars. So he made six dollars out of this thing. Like great. And he can do one or two things to it. He can go take it home and eat it, uh, cook it and eat it. Or he can raise it and, and, and grow it some more. Or he can just sell it away. He can literally turn around and on Monday morning come back to the auction house and say, my pigs is worth you know $16 going up. Anybody want to bid it? And he's going to put it for $20, whatever. And guess what? I lose out on that. I lose out all that because I, I didn't see the value of my pigs. All right. I hope that clarify answer that, uh, explain that a little bit simpler. Uh, Claude, do you think I use a good analogy to explain that? Yeah, that was that was good. Okay, all right. So, okay, so so far is nine dollars. So that's the price, and then there's something called time. So time also has price value in it. Obviously, auction house here it's only open on Friday. It's on, it's only from Monday to Friday. But imagine you put the price for two weeks, three weeks, a month out. Guess what? You you have more opportunity for that auction to continue. So there's price out there. So if you put for $9, eight, uh, uh, strike price of $9, you're only going to get $8, 8 cents, okay, 8 cents. But imagine you put it to January 19. January 19, that thing just literally doubles. You got $18 now. If you go, you go all the way to January 26, that thing went up to $28. If you go up to 45 days, I mean, you're essentially going to, for $9 price, you're gonna get seventy-five dollars, uh, seventy-five dollar for the same pick, the same same price. Okay. Oh shoot! Somebody just called me. Oh, it's just a spam call. I thought somebody from work called me. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, so for that. Okay. But here's the problem. If you're not comfortable with nine dollars, the difference between nine dollar, eight dollar, and nine dollars only uh, fifty eight cents. Fifty eight cents. That's it. That's the difference between this price. Do you think? Do you think this is gonna hit nine dollars sometime this week? Probably not. But however, in two weeks, yes. In a month, oh, it will definitely. It's only fifty cents. It's probably gonna go up to nine dollars somewhere in, in about a month. All right. Because the stock go up and down. Remember, stock go up and down. It's only fifty cents, so it's probably gonna meet it. So the further out, the the, the higher chance of you losing your picks. Make sense? You, somebody gonna exercise and take your sofa away, uh, and then guess what? You're not gonna have your picks. So that's why the price value is so high. Seventy five dollars, you know, out of this thing. All right. But um, so in this case, I'm just gonna do a week out. I'm only gonna do it on Friday, and so eight dollars. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put for uh, for this Friday. I'm gonna put for nine dollars. So I don't think it's gonna go up to nine dollars this Friday. That's just my assumption. And how do I do that? So I based on my research. And how do I do research? So I look at the chart. The first thing I do is look at the chart. So currently, right now, it's all projecting go down. It's just down. So here's nine dollar. Uh, here's ten dollar. Nine sixty five. Nine fifty. And it just go not now. It looked like it's trending back up a little bit. But I don't know if it's going to reach nine dollar. Okay, we don't know. Look, right now pre market, it's going up. So it may break nine dollar. I may lose my share here. All right. So who knows? We don't know. But that's why we're gambling. There's no way to know. 
And then the next thing you look at is, is any news on it? Is any news, something happened and stuff like that? The biggest thing going on in this stock is right now is that uh, sometime, in January, in, sometime in January, they're going to do an earning call. And so far, for the very first time, it's predicted to make money. So right now, currently, SoFi is not making any money. They're, they're, they're a startup company that has not generated any money, even though they're billions of dollars. SoFi is $8 billion company and has not made any money. But this January, they're projected to make money. If it's projected to make money, 100% sure that this thing is going to go $9, $10, $12. Uh, Kathy Wood believes that this SoFi is a 5X company. Or how, how much, you know... How much she believe it? Well, she believe it so much that she's willing to uh, she's willing to buy a whole bunch of share. Uh, let's look at her Arc FinTech company and look at her holding. She own 1.9 million share of SoFi. It's the top five of her holding in terms of number of share. All right, yeah. So it's it's huge. She own a lot of these share, and she believe it's going to go up, and she wants to go up, and uh, and yeah. So it's it's there's potential to go up after this. January uh, report here. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, I am playing with money here. I'm playing it. Uh, so, but what happened if it go up at nine dollar by tomorrow? Guess what? Yeah, I'm in danger of losing all my SoFi share. You now that's the danger of it. All right. Uh, any question up to this point so far? Anybody? If not, then I'm going to continue on. Okay. Uh, so the next step is I'm just going to go ahead and select. On so in 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 Charles Schwab. On the left side is a call, on the right side is put. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the call here. I'm just going to select it. And this thing pop up. And January 12th, $9 strike price. And I want sell to open. Now, don't ask me. I'm kind of new. I still don't understand the buy to open close and sell to close. I'm, I still, I'm still kind of, I just know that if I want to do cover call, I'm going to do sell to open. If I want to close a cover call, I'm gonna do sell to close. Okay, that's that's all I know so far, and I I, I I don't I don't know enough to explain the difference between sell and buy yet. Okay, so in this case I have 200 shares, so I'm gonna put 200 quantity, uh, two not 200, put two, because remember each 100 is one contract, so two contract. I'm gonna click I'm gonna click sell to open here, I'm gonna click continue, and then it's gonna pop up, and in this case I will make 18 dollars. All right, there you go. I make eighteen dollars out of it. All right, uh, pre-market. Uh, now, for those who now I already did it. That's why I didn't do it. Now, for those out there, I do have a trade out there. I may cancel it because it hasn't been filled yet. If it hasn't been filled, I can cancel it. All right. So, uh, but if you go back to precision. Uh, as you can see, I have I have a contract for Neo, but I don't have a contract for SoFi. That means it has not been filled yet. I, I don't know if you remember, I did it earlier. This is my second client given this class. So I did it earlier. The contract was $16, and I only gonna make $14 minus the uh, commission. So, well, guess what? I just saw that contract for $18. So maybe I cancel that order and just redo it again. So it's going up right now. So I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, so I'm going to cancel that order. It hasn't been filled. But if 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 it's filled, then it's a different ball of wax. So I got to close the con uh, close because once it's filled, that somebody already commit to it. The contract already you know you have an agreement with somebody. You can't just close it out. But since nobody buy my contract, I could just cancel that order pretty quickly. All right. But uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to reveal my account number. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel it. Uh, up to this point, anybody have any question on cover call? Essentially, that's cover call. All right. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, hey, thanks you all for watching, and please ask questions, and uh, we'll we'll do more of this because I'm I'm learning how to do this as we're starting along. Um, all right, so um, a lot of people ask me, is this something worthy of doing it? Uh, you know. At this point, no, not really. Okay, let, let me just give an example. We're going to take a look at uh, Tesla stocks. I'm going to go back to option trading again. I'm going to show you Tesla stock. Did somebody want to ask me a question? M. Taylor, you have open mics, just letting you know. All right, so I'm going to go to options, option chain. 
I'm going to show you Tesla stocks because we, we own Tesla. I'm going to I'm going to use Tesla stock example. If I buy this, uh, if I if I have 200 share, 100 share of Tesla stock, 100 share of Tesla stock at at 230. Uh, let's say my uh, my average is 216 time 100. So I have $21,000 of Tesla stock that I can do for contract. So $21,000. I just want you to remember that number. At $21,000, current price is 238. Let's say I put a cover call for 245. Uh, let's say let's say right right next to it. Okay. So 242. I'm gonna make the most money. That's three dollar and forty cents. Okay. Just uh, I want you to uh, let me let me take out my notes here so that's why I remember. Uh, 2160. 21,060. All right. So let's say uh, three. 340. So 340. If I do a cover call on this thing, uh, 340 time 100. So that's 340. Okay. So remember that number, 340. All right. But how many? Let's say I let's say I successfully win my trade every week. All right. That's 340 successfully win my trade every week time four. That's 1,036. All right. So the most money I can make is somewhere around 1036 If I do this weekly and I successfully win my trade every time and I still have my share and I get 1360 okay? Now I want, you to, I want you to think the difference between you doing it and Jay doing it, okay? So Jay, you're going to take 2160 that's 2160 uh, 21060 of, of value, money, money, all right? Uh, you, uh, 2160 Divide by the current price of Tesla price, okay, which is eleven dollar. Well, well, let's use. You can use the current price, or you can use my average, all right. Uh, but let's use the current price of Tesla, all right. So you're gonna get. I'm sorry, twenty one thousand six hundred. Divide by eleven dollar. You're gonna get one thousand nine sixty three share. One thousand nine sixty three share. Time the last dividend this month dividend payout is fifty five cents fifty five cents so you're gonna get one thousand dollars so the difference is about three hundred dollar three hundred sixty or three uh, about three hundred dollar right so if you do it yourself you get one thousand three hundred sixty if you if you were to let Jay do it you get one thousand eighty for that whole month all right the big difference between the two is this one you buy an ETF you're not gonna lose your Tesla share. But if you were to do it at especially that close to the money, just think about the different prices. Two thirty-eight is two forty-two. You're talking about a difference of about four dollars. Okay, Tesla can easily go up four dollar easily between now and and Friday. And guess what? Sometime between now and Friday, they're gonna take all my Tesla share. I'm gonna essentially lose all my Tesla share, and I won't be able to do any more. You know, and 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 option trading is gonna be very difficult. So. I'm in danger of losing my share for the potential of making $300 more if J, the difference between me and Jay doing it. This is why this is why the this is why you see a lot of option trader they don't want to waste their time anymore. You know, they they just like, man, this is too much work because not only that you have to keep monitoring it. Because if you, if this thing in danger of losing your share, you're going to have to roll it. That means you have to monitor it. If you don't monitor it, then then guess what? You're going to they're going to exercise and take your share away. And uh, so, you you put a lot of hours, you put a lot of work, and you're exercising for three hundred dollars of profit. The question to you is this: Is it worth it? Uh, I would argue and say no. And that, and a lot of people who's a beginner option trader argue and say no also. And that's why you see a lot of people buying yield max because they're like, you know what? I'm just going to let Jay and his team do option trading for me, and I don't have to worry about it. All I'm doing is buy the ETF. And I'm going to take my twenty-one thousand dollars instead of buying Tesla and do option trading. I'm going to take my twenty-one thousand dollar and give it to Jay and let him do option trading. I get a thousand dollars a month, and it's good enough for me, and that's great. Now, some people would say, you know, for three hundred dollars, it's worth it because I'm good at it. I'm, I'm going to good. At it. I'm going to make money. So there's some argument to be made on that side. So you know, it's depending how greedy you want to be. If you want to be greedy and make more money, then you do it yourself. If you want Jay to do it. And at least you you have you don't have to worry about it. You still own you know somewhat. You don't own Tesla, 
That's the big difference is you don't own Tesla. All okay? right. Does that make sense? Claude, did that help explain a little bit? Yes, it did. Did you want to add on to something? You know, add on to it some more? No, you, you, you did You did fine. You did yeah. fine. Yeah, so a lot of option trader, a lot of option trader, a lot of beginner option trader, they they switch over to high yield dividends because they don't want to deal with those 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 decision those tough decision anymore. There's a lot of tough decision. You have to decide. You're like, man, should I sell this? Should I go? What should I do? Should I roll this? You know, there's just a lot of decision thinking, and a lot of people don't want to do that decision, and they don't have time to do it, uh, and, and you know they're busy working, busy and doing something else. So that's why they let yield max do it. And it's easy. It's easy. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about things. All right. All right so that's that's explained it. That's why people. Some people choose to do option trading. Some don't. Uh, I want to do it because I want to learn how to do it. So I understand how Jay does it. So this way, um, I can. Uh, so I can appreciate my return on it. I, I also I can criticize him for for failing to do something. All right. So you now you understand how option trading works. You understand what you're investing. You understand your money. You understand all those things. So, and uh, it's a great. So, if you don't have any question, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Does anybody else have uh, any question? All right. If not, okay. Hey, thank you all for watching. I'll see you at 9:30, which is gonna happen in a few minutes, and I can't wait to uh, do this live. All right. With that, peace out.